What's up, everybody? This is the Act Man here, and today- Holy shit! What? MCC got an update? I don't know what to say. It's hard to believe this is real, isn't it? This actually happened. It's been such a long, arduous journey, a long ass wait for this day. And to put it in perspective, I hadn't even posted my very first video on this channel when the Master Chief Collection came out. That's how long it's been, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, my abstinence from making an MCC video is over. The day has come. We are doing this right now. Let's check out this update and finally put the past behind us. So, for those of you out of the loop, those who might not remember or have been trying to erase your memory of how this game launched, the Master Chief Collection was quite possibly the most disappointing video game ever released. Such a big promise, unfulfilled. Exactly, exactly as, as it shipped, shipped 10, 10 years, years ago. ago. Exactly. 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 But there was so much content that was just unplayable. So many features that didn't work. An endless stream of frustration that burned apart my very soul. It was a disaster. A cataclysmic event whose destruction could not be matched even by the rings themselves. Yes, there's a bit of hyperbole, but the utter disappointment I felt from this game inspired me to create videos on YouTube in the first place. So it was a pretty big deal to me and countless other Halo fans. This Twitter account was religious about crusading to get 343 to fix MCC, and after four years, he was finally able to tweet out a yes. Incredible. You could summarize the Halo fanbase's reaction to the launch of MCC with the following image. And that's just a brief summary of where we were. But if you had been following Halo news, then no doubt you saw Frank O'Connor's post maybe a year ago about why MCC turned out the way it did, the limitations of the Xbox One, all that jazz, and thus began the extended wait for the eventual patch they'd release to the public. They started an insider program to get the community more involved and to further iron out any missing details, bugs, glitches, etc. So, here it is. And it's 76 gigabytes ah, for the whole thing. Good lord. But it's worth it. Or is it? Now I'm gonna preface the rest of this video by saying if you're someone who's looking at this update and thinking It took you long enough? Then yes, yes we know, okay? It took far too long for this to happen, but it happened nonetheless. We don't need to keep bringing up obvious facts that everyone's aware of, alright? I think we all understand. Rome wasn't built in a day. You know, there's so many games out there that release in a buggy, incomplete mess and sometimes they get fixed real quick and other times they don't get fixed at all. So if you're gonna say anything along the lines of Why are people excited? MCC is a dead game. F F F. Or Wow, why did it take them so long? This is how the game should have launched. Well, you're not wrong about the last two, but just stop being so goddamn negative about it. It's done. It's over. Let it go. Move on. Bitching and moaning about MCC four years later isn't contributing anything to the discussion unless you're making legitimate criticisms. With that out of the way, let's actually dive in to this new update. The first noticeable difference is you can actually choose which games to install, and whether you want the campaigns or just the multiplayer, or both. Which quite honestly is great thinking on 343's part, with the way gaming companies seem completely unaware of a technique called compression, and how console makers can't seem to figure out how to make an internal hard drive that holds more than five games, the ability to pick and choose is actually very helpful to those godforsaken souls who didn't buy an external hard drive. Of course, that don't change the fact that everyone has to essentially re-download the entire game. Bit tedious, but there it is. You might also notice the menus are completely different. They got a new backdrop and everything, a fresh coat of paint across the whole game. You know, maybe it's because of the fast matchmaking times, but one of my biggest problems with MCC was just hearing the same five songs over and over. Hour after hour after hour after hour. Yes, this great ass music was basically ruined for me because of this game. But I don't feel or experience that type of irritation anymore because there's an option to turn down the volume. Hooray! You know, I might come across as a, as a bit angry. You know, part of that is just hyperbole, just trying to entertain you guys as well. But the other part of that is is my reserved feelings and, and I still hold the scars from the war of MCC in 2014, all right? So just give me some leeway if, if I come across as a little ragey. 
So what I'm kind of noticing is the recurring trend with this update is more so about removing the negatives and the problems than it is a plethora of new additions. There are some, and we'll get into them. Although if you got an Xbox One X, there's some pretty cool visual enhancements to the game, which is kind of crazy if you think about how 343 is still finding new ways to improve the graphics on a 10 plus year old console game. Another cool thing, one we've been missing for some time, is LAN support, baby! You know, the thing that allows people to hook up all their consoles together and play and party and drink and eat pizza and fuck around. Yeah! Wish I could take advantage of this personally, but my home situation, eh, it, we don't have enough room. Anyways, point is, they brought this back. And they really didn't need to, but should have, you know what I mean? It's the thought that counts, it's the finer details, just the fact that it is possible, that it exists that you can host LAN parties offline in 2018, that's incredible. And it's something that myself and many others have been asking for. Nowadays it's not as relevant, but seeing a change like this tells me they are listening to people. And that's what matters too. It's like my little rants on demolition in the Call of Duty games and some of my COD videos. If just a thousand people play demolition, or a thousand people host LAN parties, then those thousand people are going to be extremely happy. You know what I mean? Loading times are way faster. The interface is crisp, clean, much more functional, thank god. Haven't run into any jaw-dropping bugs or floating text, none of that crap, it's great. Game hasn't frozen 8 million times. We get into games consistently without problems, without unbalanced teams for the most part. And you also get options to change the language. Let's see what Spanish campaign sounds like. No va a ser suya, lo que sí le vamos a dar. Es una buena dosis de plomo para que se ahoguen en su propia sangre. ¿Sí o no, marines? <laughs> señor, sí, señor. Mm. Claro que sí. Oh my god. Ahora fuera, oh my god, this is great. Todos a sus puestos. Todos, señor. Todos. Todos, todos. Fucking love that. Might have to do a playthrough in like German or something. That'd be hilarious. As funny as it is for me as an American to listen to these foreign languages in a Halo game that I basically memorize the dialogue for, the point is accessibility and comedy for people like me, which is great. However, not every change is a good one. While we can download the different languages, the game is region locked, which means we can't play with people who speak those different languages. You know what? Gamers have to unite and break the glass ceiling of oppression. The, the Illuminati cannot separate us. And neither can the borders of our countries. But, on the real, I don't understand why this is a thing. I mean, sure it makes every match here in the US buttery smooth and without much lag, but at what cost? So for some players in countries where the game isn't that populated, for now they're pretty much shit out of luck, right? And that's really bad. Unless they jump into some custom games, but not everybody can post a tweet and get a full 16 player lobby going in minutes. I, I really don't know, is there some workaround for region lock? I know Zany did something, but for your average person, is there some way, is there some update or anything? That's what I want to see. Everything else is pretty much a minor gripe, but that's a big problem. Now for me, I've encountered almost no issues in finding and playing games. Everything was smooth, fluid, never ran into a finding new host bullcrap message. I tried out almost every playlist, you know, from Lone Wolves to Action Sack to Big Team Battle to Social Slayer, everything. It seems like it's all populated. And you can get into a game within a minute or two, if not a little longer. Certainly a far cry from where this game was a year ago, holy shit. One issue I did have was when I first downloaded the update, I raced to the matchmaking menu and didn't see a big team battle. It's there now, but I was so confused because I wasn't constantly staying up to date with how 343 was dishing out playlists. So at first I didn't know if they were going to add it in or, or not. It's a minor gripe, but eh, that's just the state of gaming as a whole to just, you know, post everything on a forum somewhere. There is clarity in the daily message now, so thanks for that. There's also a buttload of playlists, which could end up splitting the population too much, but because MCC now allows you to pick and choose which games you want, having this many playlists means that nobody is left out or feels like there aren't enough playlists for Combat Evolved, Halo 2, Halo 3, or Halo 4, that sort of thing. Best part is the game doesn't kick you back to the menus. I mean, you keep searching, but the other people just like get kicked out or something, it's weird. A little bit better than just getting forced back to the lobby though. You can just keep playing, keep queuing, hooray! Let's celebrate things that were in a Halo game 10 years ago! 
But seriously, I'm glad this feature is here. So other things I noticed, the Halo channel still doesn't work. Yep, it doesn't work. Unlocked avatars and nameplates don't tell you what you did to unlock them. The leaderboards load way faster, but it bugs out whenever you try to change the filters. You get to see the server ping in different countries, which would be helpful if the game wasn't region locked. While these are small annoyances, what actually irritates me is the game no longer has a voting system, which is good because now you don't play the same thing every time, but it's also bad because there's no veto. So what you see is what you get. I'm not even joking. Last night we got standoff five times in a row. Please implement veto. The other annoying part is you don't even see what game mode you're playing before the game starts. Why? But yeah, aside from the nitpicky stuff, this is it. This is what we waited for. So did it turn out the way I hoped? Yes. Yes, it fucking did. Everything except the region lock. Now, despite all my pet peeves with this MCC update, don't think for a second that I would go back to the old version. Don't think for one minute all these issues I'm bringing up are things that are discouraging me from playing. This is miles better. Improved in pretty much every single way. Scratch that improved in every single way. Yes, this is the way MCC should have launched back in 2014. Yes, this update took far too long to come out, but it's here, it works, and it's glorious. This is the Master Chief Collection video that I wanted to make, not some rage-fueled hate-mongering, I'm being passionate right now and, and a bit angry, hyperbolic, I'm fucking losing it because I never expected this day to happen, to come the way it did. I hope you understand, but this is the way I wanted to do an MCC video, to talk about why it was so good, and now I can finally just put it all to rest. It, it feels so good to be able to say good things about the Master Chief Collection, to not worry every time I boot up the game if the parties are gonna just fuck up, or I can't join my buddy's lobby, or we can't find a game, or it's searching for players, it's connecting to session, failed to connect. I don't have to worry about that anymore. I no longer have to worry about MCC being playable when I just want to relax and have fun. And that's all I ever wanted. That's all I ever needed.